Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there and general sport fans, how are you doing? Hope you're well, it's Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. But then again, you know that, don't you? Because that's why you've tuned in. Right. New Year's Honours list. I'm just going to pick five out of it. Uh, I want to say well done to Ron Flowers. He's from the same village as where I grew up in Edlington. Uh, played for Wolves. Uh, played for England 49 times, scoring 10 goals. I think you were a member at Wolves 1960 uh, FA Cup winning team. They had a great team then, the Wolves. So well done to Ron Flowers. Well done to Jimmy Greaves as well. Well done to Jimmy Greaves uh, and Ron Flowers, MBE apiece. Should have been uh, sorted years ago. They were both, I believe, members at 66 England World Cup team. Should have been sorted a long time ago. So it's it's mainly a, mainly an afterthought, isn't it? This is why it's so dysfunctional. This uh, honours committee and so, but I'm glad Jimmy Greaves got it. What a fantastic goal scorer he was. Ron Flowers, fantastic player as well. Uh, I'm going to save the last one. We'll do that one last, the Barry Hearn one. But the third one, Curtis Woodhouse. He receives a BEM award. Baked egg and mushroom, is it? I don't know, but played in Premier League, didn't he, from 20, 21 year old, million pound signing from Sheffield United to Birmingham. Uh, played for all as well. So good player. Played for England on the 21s. Pack boxing at 26 and uh, ended up winning a Brit. Sorry, pack football at 26. Ended up taking up boxing and winning a British welterweight title. So has to be given credit for getting to the top in two sports. So well done to Curtis Woodhouse. Uh, a lot of people are giving some stick about it, but I think he's done well. I think he's done well there, Curtis, to, to, to get an award. Uh, so it's pity it's not an MBE, but a BEM. He'll not be bothered about that, Curtis. He's a proper British kid. He'll go down to Buckingham Palace puffing his chest out like 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 a peacock, like Graham Sooners in his pomp, you know, sitting in Middle at Park. So, well done to Curtis. Uh, Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> what can we say about this guy here? He's involved in a, in a tax scam, isn't he? Or some Isle of Man thing where he parks his plane there and then gets another plane, does he, to Monaco or something? where he don't pay no tax, where well, he is a tax exile. So you're doing a lot of shouting and a lot of roping about a lot of things, Lewis Hamilton, but he drives best car, doesn't he? That'd be like Ronnie O'Sullivan being given the best snooker cue to play snooker with and everybody else having a broom handle, wouldn't it? So I don't get that. Uh, I don't know why he's knighted at such a young age. And um, is it... Is it is he worth half a billion? Somebody said he's worth half a billion. So why would he want to be doing all that with his tax and depriving country of money? Because he, he were fetched up here, wasn't he? But all these people, they're quick to get out of country and not pay any tax. But as soon as there's an award to come back to cut to come back to England to collect and further the careers, they all want to do that, don't they? So I don't agree with Lewis Hamilton getting it. I think there's a lot of people more worthy should i say a lot of people more worthy than than lewis hamilton are getting a night what about marcus rashford they pound him off with an mbe didn't they where's lewis hamilton where would he put in his own money in his pocket for his kids free school meals we know where he worry too busy not paying his taxes like the rest of them so i ain't got no time for lewis hamilton he's not deserving the others are not uh, are not deserving. Uh, sorry, the others are deserving of it. Curtis Woodhouse, Jimmy Greaves, Ron Flowers, they're deserving of it. Which brings me to Barry Hearn, a.k.a. Baza. Now, I don't mind Baza for the simple reason that he's got, a bit, he's got a bit more about him than the son, Eduardo. But Baza, for me, 
I can explain it. Hard worker, very hard worker, a work ethic they have, he's got installed in him. And his son, Eddie, is second to none. I hope I can install that in my son. But uh, where I have a problem is with this, they've given him an OBE, which is probably deserved, but there's a question mark over it or an asterisk next to it because he's named in Jeffrey Epstein's book, Black Book, now, and he's not come out and explained that. So for me, I can't jump on Barry and hype train because of this. There's this, I think this spoils it, doesn't it? The mainstream media are not asking any questions. The boxing media, Gareth A. Davis, all of them, Rob Tebbett, Coogan Cassius, Michelle Phelps, Adam Smith, Johnny Nelson, none of them will ask Barry Hearn why he's in Jeffrey Epstein's book. And I think that we have a, a right to know that because any other time when there's a camera around Barry Hearn or Eddie Hearn or any of the Hearns, you can't shut them up. You can't shut them up. Plenty to say for themselves. They'll talk waffle for hours on end. Eddie is a machine. He can do 30 interviews at a presser and he give everybody 10 minutes of his time. Then get up next morning and do an hour sit down to talk about what he spoke about the day before. But nobody is asking the questions. Barry, we think you've done well. You're an hardworking man. You've made millions of pounds. But why are you in Jeffrey Epstein's book? Why are you silent over this? Why the silence? Why? Why? If you're innocent, come out and say, well, I had a few quid involved with some hedge funds or whatever it is, docks and shares or some whatever Epstein were into. That's all you've got to say. And he was looking after some money from me or something like that. Because why else would your name be in his book? I don't get that. But when you're named on BBC TV with a list of 140 odd people out of the book, that are f why can't you come out and explain that? Why can't the media ask this as well? Why aren't Sky Sports, Sky News, Kay Burley? Why aren't any of these asking? Because if it was anybody else who were from any other walk of life, and they, had, and they were had a bit of fame, they'd be hounded into the ground. So why ain't nobody asking Barry Hearn a simple question? Barry, why are you in Jeffrey Epstein's book? It's a fair question. We want a fair answer because it's not going to go away. For me, it has to be dealt with. She's got a trial in seven months, Ghislaine Maxwell, seven months for her trial. And it's going to be the biggest trial of the century, the same. The biggest trial of this century. So, Ghislaine Maxwell's it up in court. And when, when you're facing a trial like that, there's a lot at stake, isn't there? But yeah, my argument is this. Barry Earn's going to get his OBE from the Queen. And her son is knee-deep in the investigation as well, and he's been accused of doing all sorts of vile crimes. Sexual. So the Queen's giving Barry Hearn an OBE, but yet her son's tied to Epstein scandal, and Barry Hearn's name's in Epstein's book, so I can't get my head around that. So people can say, Porky, you're being a hater. You're always sticking it to Eddie and his old man. No, I stick it to Eddie. He talks that much crap. He tells massive whoppers. But we're not accusing Barry Hearn. He's not been charged with anything. He's not been interviewed, but he's in Epstein's book. And I think that somebody who says he's transparent and he don't lie anymore and that he's honest and and decent, well, he should come out, shouldn't he, and say, well, I'm in Epstein's book for this reason. This is why I'm in it. So that's just my opinion on the situation, but hard worker, yes. Feathered, feathered his own nest, yes. There's nothing wrong with that if you can get away. He's a rascal, isn't he? But we don't want another Jimmy Savile scandal on our hands, do it with somebody. Brown bread, and then it all comes out about him after he dies. I don't want another scandal like that. No.
It's got to be nipped into bud now, and questions need to be asked. Now, these questions with Jimmy Savile, they weren't asked. Nobody were pushing it because there was an agenda behind the scenes. And I'm seeing a similar pattern with this with Barry Earn. Nobody dares say a word. The media in the boxing fraternity, they're all whispering about it. They're all on about it. But nobody dares say oh, because they all want to get access to Sky shows and matchroom shows. And they're all, they're all mates with boxers and trainers and managers, and they all want to get some of the pie, so they're all turning a blind eye. If it all comes out that he's involved with a scandal, there'll be a lot of people running for cover. Whoever said he deserves an OBE, they're going to look daft, aren't they? So it needs sorting out now. Barry Hearn needs to come out and say, I'm in Epstein's book because of this or because of that. And that's it. And then we're all all right, aren't we? So Ron Flowers, Jimmy Greaves, well done. Curtis Woodhouse, well done. Lewis Hamilton, not deserving of it. Barry Hearn, question mark. Question mark next to Barry Hearns. That's my take on five of them that are in New Year's Honours list. So I'm a proper Brit. I'm passionate about these things, but I just like to see fair play. All right. Peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares, Barry.